Check this. Welcome back to my very first video on Fortnite slash gaming slash not Lego. Alright, so today I will be showing you guys how to get tons and tons of XP in Fortnite without even getting coins or without even getting hefty wins. So we're going to be dropping at the grotto and we are going to be killing everybody in there and shaking them down and opening all the locked doors and everything. Because each one of those shakedowns and ID scanners gives you about 100 to 160 XP. Alright. If it wants to load up for us, we can pop into a game. So yeah, so this is my first video. I will be doing quite a few videos on these topics, Fortnite and gaming. So I'll be playing a lot of Fortnite, also a lot of Roblox as well. Baseworm Simulator, all sorts of games. So, yeah. And this is my first commentary as well. So, and if you guys like it, then like and sub down below. Alright, so, the grotto. Jeez, looks like a bit of a hot drop, but let's hope not too many people are here. So my route for the grotto is that I usually take that little tube right there, the smaller one. And so what I do is I pop onto the power lines, if I see a gun there. And then I take the zip line down, because it does no damage. And yeah, I just hop in to the, that one down there. So this will get you into the grotto the fastest, other than taking the dump, the dumpster, right below the big tower. So I'm taking this chest right here. Again, as you, saw, as you saw on my screen, 130 XP for that chest. So it seems someone looks like they've already grabbed the helicopter. Alright, there's someone out here. Destroy these, so I don't think those actually hurt you. Secret Agent Man. They Secret actually just, um, I think they just detect you and have a red beam across them. Alright, so that was a player killed. Um, I think, yeah, the player already took the guy here, which was a bit annoying, but here's one. So Right, and so you see how I shook him down? And that's 100 XP for a shakedown. And because the locked chest was already looted, I couldn't go back and get it. So 80 HP for an Alim. I think it's 80 HP for a knock as well. And it's 100 for a shakedown. So destroy this turret right here before it draws you. Um, I think that's Brutus down there. Yeah, I think that's Brutus. No, it's not Brutus. The way you can tell if it's Brutus, Brutus has a lot more HP and a lot more shield than anybody in the whole grotto. So, just bot this dude right now. Um, I, yeah, you don't get XP for knocking a henchman. Oh, lad. Um, all right, seems there's another actual player down there. Where is Brutus? Whoa! That's a bit close. Um, what am I gonna do now? Um, I'll just wait a bit. Oh, yep. Bam, he's gone. Alright, so I've got a minigun. I think minigun headshots and AR headshots or burst headshots are like the only way to take Brutus down. Because if you try any other way, or we'll just 
take this telephone box right now. Yeah, if you try it any other way, then you, you just get blasted. Um, 23 HP, I think I'm gonna mid. Um, so there's, there's, there's not much way of destroying this turret right now. So let's just hope it doesn't detect us because we're disguised. Um, all right, let's go find Brutus. Um. So, oh yeah, the sniper guys are up here. Oh, Brutus, Brutus. Oh, come on. Oh, finally. Let's go. Alright, so I didn't get any XP for just knocking him. But because I shook him down, there's a hundred there. Shake down Brutus. A hundred there. And I think I get more HP from... Yeah, I get 163 experience from killing Brutus. Which, which is pretty good if you think about it. As well as if I use a locked chest. Yeet! Um, yeah. So, are we gonna... Oh, it's not a locked chest. Weapon. I think... Oh, there's one here. Too. So that right now is... Yeah, 285 HP. No, um, XP for scanning an opponent. So, um, let's see if there's anyone else. Oh, he's gone, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, where is everybody? Uh, where is everybody? Where do we let that go? Yeah, oh, there's a dude in the water. Go on. Easy claps. You see how epic that minigun is? Like, no pun intended, but, well, it's not epic. But the minigun is so overpowered. One game I had four miniguns on me. I won the game. Like, the minigun is incredibly overpowered. So, right now, so I don't think that all the XP right here goes into my survival or combat bonus at the very end. So, I think this just automatically goes into increasing my levels. Let's see if we can get this dude. Oh, there's one over there. You. Oh. Come on. Bruh. Oh, Storm's coming in. You see, the thing that I like about the Grotto and Storm is that you're not incredibly far away from most circles, but the thing is you can just take a med kit and because there's a helicopter, you can. it'll be really easy to get back in. So I suggest if you guys try to do the Grotto run, if you try to do any of the, um, the extra boss fights, you really need to do the Grotto. The Grotto will get you, number one, the most XP. Number two, probably the closest to the storm. And number three, in my opinion, the best loot. So, yeah, you're guaranteed two miniguns, possibly even three. And miniguns are the most overpowered gun in my, um, in my thoughts. So, I'm just going to wait a bit for my health to drop so I get a bit more time looting. Then I'll just fit up. Uh, I'm not sure if I missed anybody. I think I killed all the henchmen. But I'm not sure. Um, oh, what am I meant to take? Alright, here we go. Alright. 
Yeah, so guys, I'm trying to reach 100 subs by the end of, well, I'm actually trying to reach 250 subs by the end of this quarantine. So if you guys will sub down below, it doesn't cost you anything, it's free, by the way. So there's no reason you shouldn't be subbing to make an account, it's free. So yeah, if you sub down below, I'll be able to earn some money and have better vids. Um, Bye, have a great time. So, yeah, I'm gonna take this trap door right here. And I don't think that if you go in a secret passage, it takes away your health. Like if you're in storm, I think it preserves your health for a little bit. But yeah, I've got this dandy. Yeah, yeah, I'm all good. All right, I'm just gonna take this launch pad right now and launch back into the storm circle. So, come on, oh my gosh. iOS, building on iOS is so difficult and so much harder than building on like PS4 and console and um, like every other platform. I'd say iOS has the worst builders and is the hardest to build. Landmark discovered the chair. Well, survive is up to you. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, there's someone over there. I'm gonna go try and nap them. But what happened to my sound? This, this is the thing with iOS Fortnite. Just everything keeps glitching. Oh, there we go. Like iOS Fortnite is so much worse than every other type of Fortnite. All right, this guy's coming over here. We should be able to laser him with our minigun. Right. <laughs> Come on! Oh. Are you kidding me, bro? This is just, oh my gosh. I swear he was dead, honestly. G GG's anyways, like, look at that match total, 4,000. Like, that's good. That's not including medal bonus, by the way. But medal bonuses, you should really pick up, as well as your daily challenges. Because if you complete all your daily challenges, They'll get you, I think, I think you get five, no, 56,000 from all of them. If you do them, if you do all three immediately. And you'll also get, you'll also get more of those challenges each day. So I think, if I'm right, you should get about 560,000 like XP from your daily challenges every week. Which is still pretty good. Um, uh, I did, yeah, you know, it doesn't really matter about winning. Well, of course it does, but it doesn't really matter so much when you're grinding the grotto because you don't need all that, you don't need to do all of that. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and like down below. Please comment some more video ideas if you want as well all right so and that thank you for watching today that was the grotto xp run there will be more videos coming in shortly so hope you guys stay safe during quarantine i hope you guys aren't going out too much so yeah we're gonna end the video right here so signing off thank you